Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will be discussing how to provide your users access to the Century One database by applying role based security for a read only user. Let's begin by discussing the two types of security that Century One uses. The first is role based security. This type of security is configured within SSMS for each user or group. It is used to limit what can be done within the Century One client. For instance, I can deny permissions for a user so that they cannot add targets to be monitored or change any of the settings that I have configured. The second type of security is rights-based security. This type of security is configured within the Century One client. It is used to limit what can be viewed within the Century One client by each user or group. A good example of this is to only show what servers a particular user is responsible for within the Century One client when they log in. Rights-based security will be discussed more in a different video. Let's now walk through the process of configuring role-based security for a new user. The first thing we'll do is to connect to the server hosting our SQL Sentry or Sentry 1 database. We will then expand the security folder and right-click on the Logins folder. We'll now select New Login. Here we will fill in the new login information. Under Server Roles, this user will keep the public role. Under User Mapping, we will go ahead and select the Sentry 1 database and then we'll choose the Allow Read-Only Role. This will ensure that the user will not be able to update the settings for our monitored objects. Please note that most of these roles are self-explanatory. I will now click the OK button to finish adding the user. We have now logged into the client using the new user's credentials. We will try to make a change to the top SQL source setting for our monitored servers to verify that role-based security has been applied properly for this user. Once we get this message, we know that we have set up our role-based security properly. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.sentryone.com. Thanks for watching.